Well, hi everyone, and welcome to part 14 of uh, To Be Astronomer reacts to a geocentrist movie. Digital Sky Survey. Each one of these dots represents an entire galaxy. Yes. Containing on average hundreds of billions of stars. Yes. Giving us a visual indication of just how astonishingly vast our cosmos actually is. Yes. As we look down upon this two-dimensional slice of the sky, we notice that there is regular, periodic, concentric structure. No. With very much not. Very, very much not. You can see here that they struggle a lot with this depiction, right? You can see here that there, there is no circle, there is no circle. There may be a circle, but, you know, one out of, like, seven that they have drawn in here is, 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 isn't impressive, right? Um, uh, no, no, no circle, no circle, no circle, no circle. I mean, I mean, you can you can draw quite a lot of shapes, I believe here. I I don't really see much of any circles. Like like here in the middle, right? There there there's some stuff here, or like uh, out here. Why why? Uh, <laughs> you can you can again. Also, I I don't know which depiction they chose. Uh, as we mentioned previously, the, the Sloan Digital Sky Survey, when you actually look at their picture, so the picture that they are providing, you would be hard pressed to draw any circles. Again, maybe, maybe he is like, but, 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 but it kind of turns crooked right here, right? But, but apart from that, I'm sorry, there are no circles. Like, like, uh, I, I could see them drawing uh, uh, more triangles, for example. Here would be a triangle, and then here uh, would be the side of a triangle, right? And, and, and So, you, of course, you can draw random shapes in a galaxy map, but that's not really helpful, like that down here would be a triangle. But that, do you see how that's not helping? So, yeah, not, not, not at all. Redshift spacing or interval, or delta Z value, between each shell of approximately 0 0.0246, or about 250 million light years. If we fill in the missing areas of the sky, on the <laughs> assumption that the <laughs> If we make up fucking, Jara, sorry, if we make up data that fits our narrative, yeah, no, that's a great idea. Distribution is more or less similar. Uh. We are in a position to get a look at how the whole 3D structure <laughs> might appear as viewed from Earth. Oh god. Yeah, sure, let's let's make up data. That's always fun. The first thing to notice is god. if we looked at the universe from some point far removed from our location, we would not see the same concentric shell structure. There is no concentric shell structure. You're making things up. There are no concentric shells, right? I okay, let's let's for for the sake of argument, right? Concentric shell Sloan Digital Sky Survey. <sighs> let's have a look at that maybe. Um Planets move along surfaces and concentric shells. I am, don't know what they're talking about. Uh, I mean, those are simulations, so this really doesn't have anything to do with the Sun Digital Sky Server anymore. Uh, actually, you could, well, I mean, that's a that's a merger, so this is not on the on the. Uh, let, let, let's have a look at. Oh, no, sorry, that's the German Wikipedia. I will have a look at the English Wikipedia here for the Sloan Digital Sky Survey. Concentric. Oh, well, would you look at that? <laughs> no results. Hmm, I'm the big surprised. Yeah, now well, they're full of it. Um, just out of curiosity, what are they talking about? With with concentric shells to mean density contrast of concentric yeah, to local group. I don't know what they're talking about. Uh, cosmological parameters from comparison of peculiar velocities with predictions of the two mm, density field. I don't know. Uh, what 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 they are talking about? I oh no. Oh, yeah, I mean, I can't get past that, really. So, yeah, I don't know what they are talking about, to be completely frank with you. 
Uh, but yeah, I I it doesn't appear to be to be. Oh no, that uh, that that's history. Okay, that's a historical site. I see. So I no one in serious science from from a brief research, right? If 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 science would think that they are concentric shells, then it would probably be mentioned somewhere. Um, that's not this movie, because as we figured out previously, this movie doesn't really stand for science, but you know. Which is directly contrary to the assumptions of the Copernican principle. In 3D, we can slice open the galaxy distributions. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, let's make up more data. <laughs> Much as if we were looking at the layers oh. of an onion. Disclosing the concentric shell structure around us. So every, <sighs> I mean, if, if if he's talking, we already know about the quality of his of his assertions. But you know, let's for the sake of the argument, uh, distribution 3D. Let's let's have a look, shall we? I I love that he's called M Way. Which which is really Milky Way. I I like it a lot. Um, just out of sheer curiosity, you know, let's let's have a brief. Let's have a look at what what the first pay by Kikiton says. Um, you know, this is this is by the way, this is how people should really do their research. Uh, is is by looking at papers from re somewhat renowned journals i mean that's not a journal right this this is from the uh, nasa ames research center which which is still for for our basic research it 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 should be um it should be quite enough i i'll skip down to the conclusions because if 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 they see a large scale structure they will really have it in the conclusions usually at least if they if they write papers the way we write papers no those are appendices um summary and conclusions yeah, okay, they talk about the methods, and they say that they were applied to the Sloan Digital to a subsample of the Sloan Digital Sky Survey data release 3, which makes sense, because the Sloan Digital Sky Survey, as far as I know, is over, but this paper is from 2010, so it's not over yet. <laughs> um, they don't have any conclusions about the structure, do they? Although it was able to identify some of the same high density structures, the uniform. I don't know. Uh, provided a change. Mm -hmm. So. They were mainly talking about how they did it and not what the, what the results were. Maybe maybe I should go to the to the results and see if they have anything more interesting there. Um, A lot of figures that I don't really like too much, to be frank. I, I, I was hoping that they have a really nice graph of, of uh, maybe galaxy distribution as a function of distance to Earth or things like that. Or like the, the Milky Way. Oh, there it is. No, that's volumes. Okay. No. Uh, that's still volumes. Volumes again. Uh, unlabeled x-axis, I love it. <laughs> um, okay, so this this paper really doesn't give us any much insight. Um, maybe they have something? Uh, what is that? Is, is that the thing that we want? I don't think it is. Um, structure in... okay. This is Michael Way person again, I assume it's um, Michael Way. Um, yeah, I'm not really interested in all of that. I wrote... oh, Fourier transformations, those are nice. Uh, okay. And difficult, by the way. Um, sorry for looking this up, really, this this ad hoc way, right? But but again, I, I don't have all too much time to invest a lot of thing, uh, a lot of time within these uh, these things. 
so forgive me if that is boring right now as I'm kind of looking for stuff. I mean they have a lot of a lot of uh, stuff right there, but most of which are, are uh, Fourier transforms. Uh, don't you have any conclusions? Yeah, I mean they mostly talk about the Fourier transform again. Um, hmm. I mean, I assume we could look at uh, the pictures, and from what I can see so far, there doesn't really seem to be much of any uh, uh, large scale structures. Certainly not a bubble. I mean, there is again the observational bias that galaxies that are closer we can see better. So by the, the pure observational bias, which it would suggest that there are more galaxies the closer we are, because we can just see them better, right? So you always need to keep that in mind. Uh, that's dark energy. Yeah. Um, so. With, with, with this brief research, I was unable to find any evidence for there being large scale structures that would suggest that the Earth is in any kind of special place, which is unsurprising. <laughs> but, you know, I, 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 I gave it a shot, so <sighs> let's listen to what he has to say. The phenomenon that you see out there in the universe is all in concentric cells around where? The Earth. <laughs> I mean, how do you avoid this evidence? It is Whether it because leads you're... to an Earth center. Because, and I cannot emphasize this enough, as far as I can tell, you've made this conclusion up. <laughs> Entered to universe in itself? I'm not that sure, and because it's, it certainly leads to our galaxy maybe being in a special place. Now that is controversial because... Also note that they don't have either Lawrence Krauss or Michio Kaku saying that, which would be the only two people that you can more or less trust. Not not that they always are right. I have disagreed previously with things that Michio Kaku said, and, and I'm also aware that he kind of says stuff because he gets paid for, you know, appearing in documentaries, because he appears a lot in documentaries, as does Lawrence Krauss. You know, which is fine, they're science communicators, but, but I... I um, have heard Michio Kaku say things that I don't really think he thought about a lot, but you know, whatever. Because anyone in the standard cosmology community would not even enter. There is no standard cosmology community. There is just the cosmology community. Like, okay, I I, I have a professor, right? At the uh, I, I I have him next term because I'm doing a cosmology course again, because more or less I have to. <laughs> um, and, and the thing is that uh, he told us that in, in, in the previous cosmology class that I did, he told us that he actually, uh, for, for, a, for five or six years, he, he researched something that was not within the, the, the usual the, 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 the established hypotheses or like this, the established theory of cosmology. He, he researched that because he, he wanted to to well, because if if it turned out to be true, he 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 would be rather renowned now. And and he said that even even if it, he finds out that it's wrong, then they can conclusively rule it out, right? So that's what he did. And after six years, he couldn't find any real evidence for that. And so he said, well, fine. I I tried and I didn't find anything. And that is fine. That there, there, there there's no shame in doing that. Uh, the, those people always pretend that within the science community there's this thing of like, oh, we are going away from established theory. Yeah, when really that's the thing you're supposed to do. <laughs> so, but but uh, he didn't find any evidence, and that that that's fine, right? So so he he concluded that it's not the thing. So that's that, you know. Entertain such a notion. Cosmologists should be open-minded, and they not, are. Uh, suppress if you like the exploration of of non-mainstream ideas they they are i don't know that people were being suppressed for for thinking non-mainstream ideas certainly there is a limit of how you're ridiculous you can get right but 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 if they say that well there's more evidence for 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 this uh, uh hypothesis if you will and and another person says but yeah i'd still like to research the other hypothesis because i think there may be something to it then that's fine. No, no one's going to to give you flag for that. The 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 only thing 
that you will be criticized for is if you find evidence that that doesn't support your hypothesis but supports another hypothesis but you somehow bend it to uh, uh, have a different say or, or that you don't accept facts then you'll be uh, you'll be heavily criticized really but but people who don't do that and just research in another direction because they think it's interesting that doesn't happen you know <laughs> there there there, are, there is no ostracizing if you will of these people ah. <laughs> Anyway, with that we are already at 15 minutes again. I thank you a lot for watching. Uh, please do the YouTube things, the things too, and I'll see you in the next part. Goodbye.